Iga Kabeza excited to see this guy back, just one event off of his last big win, and you know, he continues to impress. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna see out of Smiley, but every time he gets into the hexagon, it gets better, it gets better and better. And finally, we're gonna see him against another great contender in Peter Quayley, a guy that we wanted to see just a few events ago. It didn't happen. Now he finally steps into the EFC hexagon, and this is going to be a monster test for Cabeza. We'll see if he can once again step up and show us that he is the title contender that he thinks he is. The DRC's Iga Cabeza is undefeated in the hexagon, improving with every fight. The multiple wrestling champion proved that there is more in his arsenal than just a powerful ground game. Here we go, Iga Cabeza. They call him Smiley. This kid has a ton of confidence, 20 years old, and he is a killer. Cabeza's gonna have to watch out. Will he rock him with the overhead right? He certainly did. Cabeza's yeah, gonna look to finish. Can he finish, Cabeza? But he is going wild. And Vicka Sword steps in. That is it. Smiley, Iga Cabeza gets the victory. Iga, Smiley Cabeza. Iga has looked in great shape in his last few fights. An impressive second round TKO victory over Regis Miyambu, the hard fought unanimous decision victory over Barant Ninaba, and of course, who could forget that big left of his against Saxon Delafield. Cabeza is the real deal, but in Peter Quigley, he's going up against one of the toughest in the division. And now Kabul is going to look for the takedown. This is where Kabula is very strong and dominant. Kick from Queeley. Really is scoring with those leg kicks. Another one from Queeley. That hurts. Another one from Queeley. Very creative by Peter Queeley. He's got the body triangle locked up. Peter, the showstopper! Queeley! If he ever went this week, Everyone was saying to me, oh, Francois Kabulu, he's not human, he's this, he's that. I made him look human tonight. With Peter Queeley, we saw the first win against Kabulu, and we know that he's an established fighter. He has great skills. But so often you can see that a fighter's just not in the right division. He was just a little small for welterweight. Now he goes to lightweight. Now he's going to be right there. He's going to have the size, the stature, the skill set, the strength to compete. This puts him at the top level, at that elite level. Against Cabeza, this is really a clash of the titans, sure. A little bit smaller of titans, but this is going to be a great fight. We're going to see what Peter Quigley is made of, and if he's really a title contender. Having defeated Francois Kabulu quite comfortably at EFC 35, Ireland's Peter Showstopper Quigley was scheduled to fight Martin van Staden at EFC 38. Unfortunately, an injury ruled him out of that fight. Now, returning to the hexagon, Queeley has moved down to what he feels is his perfect weight class. Are we about to see the next potential lightweight title contender? We were all disappointed when Peter had to pull out of the Martin fight. However, now he is back and at lightweight. I think Eger might have his hands full against a very strong and dangerous Peter Queeley. Will Smiley continue his undefeated streak and come out victorious? Or will the showstopper prove to be too good and get his second W in the hexagon? It's Iga Cabeza versus Peter Queeley. You know, when you look at this fight as a whole, I mean, I think everybody knows eventually this fight's gonna go to the ground. When you look at both fighters with Queeley and Cabeza, when it goes to the ground, who's gonna have that upper hand? Who's gonna have extra gas in the tank to pull off the win? Who has the will? And, I'll tell you right now, I know some person that's gonna have his eye on this fight, and that's Leon Mainhart. He's the champ. These guys, whoever wins, is gonna be in a very, very small group of fighters that are gonna be looking at a title shot. So you better believe the champ is gonna be watching this one real close. Prepare for the biggest fight card of the year. It's the veteran taking on the youngster when the former welterweight champion Dino Bagatine squares off against the explosive Drikus Duplessis.
a former champion returns as the heavyweight powerhouse Ruan Potts returns to the hexagon to face the French phenom Cyril Asker. And the DRC takes on the Irish with the undefeated Iga Cabeza taking on the might of the Irishman, Peter Queeley. It's Dino Bagatine versus Drikus Duplessis. Ruan Potts versus Cyril Asker and Iga Cabeza versus Peter Queeley. EFC 40, 6 June, Carnival City. Tickets and broadcast information at efcworldwide.com.